Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 12. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. Right, so we're here now for the Class E North American Tour. We're going to be taking the Ford Fiesta, the little Fiesta that could. Uh, and we're going to be going around Sebring, Infineon, Sebring, Mazda, and then Road Atlanta. All right, here we go. We got the Fiesta. Ah, Fiesta. Bow, bow, bow. This is one hell of a nippy car. Yo, VT, what's up? How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Welcome to the stream. Welcome back. There's so many fiestas in this. That was a good corner. Oh, around the outside. Doing alright. Good to hear, man. Good to hear. I've got five laps around this circuit. Oh, a little bit too much curb. Not ideal. So yeah, I think by the looks of it, instead of scheduling all the videos, for, for the rest of this week, I'm going to put out a schedule on Discord. Um, but whenever I go live, I'm just going to post it rather than do like a scheduled page. Because it, it, it seems like the algorithm, it's not like all the impressions are done at the start, which is kind of pointless if I'm not live. But again, that might just be YouTube trying to play tricks. Who knows? So far, though, the numbers are really good. So, I might do it. Just create the page from now on. See how it goes, though. Obviously, for big streams, I'll still probably schedule it. But... They crash around me. The guilty to come home. Bullet for my Valentine is so good. On so many levels. Little bit of a headbang. I miss flipping the auction houses on these old Forza games. That was fun. Do you know, I didn't even realise auction houses. Like, the first game that I played that had auction house technically would have been. I mean, they got rid of it for motorsport games, didn't they? And then they added it to Horizon games. I think Horizon 2, maybe Horizon 3 was the first one that I actually messed around with the auction house. But I, I never played any of the online features for Motorsport 3 or 4 when I had them. And to be honest, I didn't play any multiplayer for 5 or 6 either. But to be fair, I w didn't have Xbox Live till like 2018, so... It was like 2018 when I got Xbox Live. Something like that. Oh, 
carried on till Horizon 5. Were they in the other games as well then? I, I didn't really pay too much attention. Again, I, I didn't really do much multiplayer. Um, multiplayer didn't bother me. It never has done. Uh, which is why I'm not liking the way that the gaming industry is going, because a lot of games are very much heavily... Ooh. Uh, slight problem, my controller has disconnected. Let me reconnect quick. Ah! What in the hell has gone on there? Quick! Drive! Drive! Absolutely baffled as to what happened there. I'm going to keep it in, just because it's funny. What even the... Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I was, I was never really too fussed about... Um, what's it called? Multiplayer. Just because, A, I had no friends. <laughs> no, I, I didn't really have many people to play with. Um... And on top of that, single-player games used to have a lot of stuff to do with them. But obviously, like, the gaming industry now is very much just focusing on... Right, well, if people just want to play multiplayer... And they rely on their friends to make the fun, we'll just not add anything? And that was really shitty. And, like... Yeah, a lot of game developers nowadays just rely on the fact that, oh, well, they're going to play multiplayer, so their friends are going to add content value to our game. We don't actually need to put effort into our games anymore. That's what a lot of developers are doing. That's why we get a lot of really shit single-player experiences now. So. But yeah, it'd be nice to get some good single-player games. Hopefully Starfield's going to be really good. Because so far, I haven't seen much focus on multiplayer in that game at all. So, I'm hoping that's going to be a fun one. I use it... Oh, I used it to get people's cool car designs, mostly. Yeah. I mean, Auction House is great for that. Waiting for Starfield, the new Forza Motorsport, and the Crew Motorfest mostly. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for all three of those, actually. Uh, the Crew Motorfest was actually pretty impressive uh, compared to what I was expecting. So, I, I was very impressed with that. Come on, give me 4,000. Holy shit, I got 6,000. There we go. I'll take it. Let's have a look and see what car we got. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Unforgettable style. So we got the Spiker, the TVR, or the Morgan. I'm going to be honest. I like the Cigaris. I think that's a really nice looking TVR. The other ones I think are crap, but that. Whoo. That's quite a nice looking car. When you look at the back of it as well. Can I do the uh, free look? Look at the exhausts. They go that way. <laughs> what a cool car. And then obviously you have the red with the purple, which I quite like the red and purple. So yeah, Starfield is one of the games that I'm looking forward to. Obviously, it's, it's less than a month now before it comes out. 1st of September, technically. 
is the early access, and then the 6th of September is the full release. I'm still debating whether I'm going to get the early access or the full release. Two-tone gloss from the factory. It's unbelievable, the fact that you can get, like, that from the factory. That's pretty impressive. But yeah, I'm looking forward to Starfield. It's going to be quite interesting, only because I'm... Okay, charming. I'm a huge fan of Fallout. I like Skyrim, but the story hasn't quite got me hooked on it. Fallout, love it. And obviously, Starfield looks like a mix of Fallout and No Man's Sky, which No Man's Sky I quite enjoyed. So, I'm very much excited for Starfield. And to be honest, because of it being a Bethesda game, they don't have to do too much for me to be impressed. I quite like Bethesda games. Um... Forza Motorsport, uh, I'm excited for, but they have, I have really high expectations from that game. They've taken five years to make it, right? Based off of how much I enjoyed previous Forza games that only had two years of development, they've had five years of development, so I'm expecting it to be a really good title, and I, I'm not even going to... Normally, I'm like, uh, give developers a break. They've had a tough time, whatnot. Ah, uh, actually, technically, it'd be six years by the time Forza Motorsport comes out. So they've had three times the amount of development time. I, no, I, I wouldn't give them the benefit of the doubt for this one, unfortunately, just because of the fact that they've had that time an extended period of time, if the game turns out to be terrible, again, it's on them. Like, maybe Forza Motorsport will just become non-existent. Because they really have to buck their ideas up for this title. Um, as for Crew Motorfest, a little bit disappointed on the map size, I'll be honest, but I will agree the quality of the map in the Crew Motorfest is so much better than previous titles. Like the quality, the quantity, whatnot, it is much denser, which is good. I will say though, the map size could have been a bit bigger. Because the one enjoyment that I got out of the Crew 1 and the Crew 2 was going from side to side. So free to upgrade your cars anymore. I think that's a good system in a way for progression when it comes to single player. I don't think it's going to work for multiplayer and apparently it's the same system for multiplayer. Which means if you're on multiplayer and you want to just hop in and piss about with some cars, you can't do that anymore. And I don't think that's a good idea. So, um... Yeah, a little bit torn on the upgrade system. I think it's great for single player. I, th I think single player and multiplayer should be completely different. To be honest. Completely separate the two. Make your single player campaign be... You know, one thing. Multiplayer have a completely different progression. They used to do that for Need for Speed Most Wanted. 2012. They've done it for the Need for Speed, so no one's complained about it. To level your car up going around the track. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a good idea. Because a lot of the time, you just... I mean, even in this game, I could just max out this car right now. So, it gives you that temptation of actually, like, driving other cars. And upgrading them. Gives you an excuse to drive them and not just, oh, I'm going to upgrade it. Right, I'm never going to drive it again. But again, it, it, we'll have to see what happens. Um, as for, yeah, obviously with the crew. Um, the playlists? 
brilliant idea, actually. I quite enjoy the fact that you've got just these events that you've got to do. Here's the problem, right? Gran Turismo had a very similar thing. You had the cafe playlist things where you would then go onto the map, select this one race, and then the events were spread out randomly. In an open world game, it sort of worked because the fact you drive to all these locations and all of them are themed to this theme. Whereas Gran Turismo, it's not an open world game. So you can't put events on a map. So you basically just end up with all these random events with random cars. It's basically just an arcade game. I don't... It definitely does... The problem is, progression design has been pretty much nailed for the past 10, 20 years with video games. But a lot of people are like, oh, well, I don't like the progression because let's be honest Forza they're giving cars out too easily so they're all trying to design all oh, these wild and wacky ways of progression and whatnot they don't need to do that progression has worked for years Gran Turismo's progression for GT7 is quite possibly out of the last five years of games, the worst progression I've ever seen. Quite easily. It's terrible. Horrendous. Alright, here we go. Next race. <laughs> We're now on the other side of uh, Sebring. Put some Nero on. Nyom. Beep beep bitch. Beep 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 beep. Are there endurance races in FM4? I haven't seen endurance races, to be honest. Um, and I'll also be honest, kind of glad that there aren't, because I'm a little bit fed up with Forza's endurance races. I think Forza, when they added endurance races for... The, the newer games, it works better, but for the older games, they were terrible. So I'm glad this game doesn't have them. Or as far as I'm aware, it doesn't have them. I can't find them anyways. It, it does have the heats at the end, though, where they're like three and a half hour championships. That's not going to be fun. Get out me wee! Definitely going to enjoy it. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so excited for uh, just completing this game. Super excited. I've been anticipating Forza Motorsport 4 for a while now. Just this cool, fun game to be able to play it. And there are a lot of events, though. A lot of events in this one. But I feel like some of the championships I can actually compress into other videos. I, I have a slight feeling that Forza Motorsport 4 series is going to be very messy. Um, when you look at like Motorsport 1, 2, 3, they've all sort of been like one event, one video, maybe two videos for an event, whatnot. This is going to be like... We're going to have a video for an event, and then we're going to have 
three races of one event in this video and then a race event with one race and then another event because some of the events only have one race and then some of them have two races three races let me send you one slice of pizza i got Ooh, interesting Well, welcome back, Heinz. Welcome back to the stream. I'm very much interested to see this pizza. I'm also interested to get myself some food at some point. I might have to cook something up between uh, this race and the next race. Oh, I thought you meant like take a picture. I mean, if you send it to me, I'd, I might be a bit disappointed because, uh, yeah, it'll be a little bit moldy. VT has got a spot on there. It would be a little bit moldy. If you are enjoying the stream, Feel free to drop a like, as it really does help support the channel. And if you want to share the stream out as well, that would greatly help. Right, we are doing a challenge where if we hit 100 views in any live stream, I will be gifted a channel subscription to a member of chat. Oh, I'm on top chat as well. I'm not on live chat. I might have missed some messages. Let's have a look. Did you know that upside down dislike is a like? I did not know that. <laughs> what the hell is this song? We're going! Look at my ghost in microwave <laughs> in the background. <laughs> you can see my microwave just popping in and then disappearing again. Like, hello, goodbye, hello, goodbye. doesn't do that. It just goes bing and then turns off. It's one of those old school ones. You turn the dial and it goes and then it turns back around and it goes bing. Old school microwave. And level 27. Woohoo. I'll take it. Thank you very much. And uh, what do we get for level 27? Executive Luxury Coupe. Oh, so we can get the CL65, Continental Supersports, the DBS, or the M6. Unpopular opinion. I'm quite impartial to the M6. I think it's quite an alright car. And I'm going to be picking it. And if you've got a problem with that, what well, tough shit. Because I'm picking it. <laughs> and obviously every BMW I like in white. I think it's a nice one. Just had sugar, so sugar rush now. Sugar rush! Ooh. 
Anytime I have sugar, I have a sugar rush. It's great. I had a proper sugar rush at work yesterday. Because I decided to be an idiot and go, Joe, you know what? I'm going to have full Pepsi. Can I just have a full Pepsi? And obviously, I've now just drunk almost a liter of Pepsi. And uh, the amount of sugar in there was probably enough to give me diabetes four times over. I won't let me mind my soul. <laughs> I know. I was so much, so much sugar. It's one of the... Obviously, I work in the cinema, so... You got like all these big drinks that they do because obviously it's a two hour movie. <laughs> oh my gosh, mom, get the camera! <laughs> That's all this song reminds me of. Bum, bum, bum. It's really weird hearing songs like this because this is drum and bass dubstep. Oh, I don't think that's supposed to be in that spot. I think that's supposed to be down here. Let's try that again. Broken footsteps on the floor. Boom! Headshot! Such a good one. Something's waiting for me. I need to have a look at my uh, stream avatars. I might change from the Subaru to a different one. By the way, if anyone does have any ideas for cars that I can use for the stream avatars, uh, feel free to let me know in the Discord. Which, if you don't know, there should be a Discord link in the description down below. Peugeot 206, that's fucking great. I think I might have to get a 206, just for the meme. I don't know how many cars I'll be able to get, though. That's the issue. I also need some member, like, channel member exclusive ones. Which I think I'm going to get. A oh, Prius is a good idea. <laughs> Everyone starts out with a Prius instead of the Golf. That'd be great. <laughs> how funny would... So every single channel member starts out with a Prius. Wow, wow. Oh, Heinz has bought the Camaro! <laughs> Heinz has got a new car. BMW individual M760LI X-Drive model V12 excellence. Vroom vroom, feckers. This is going to be a long race. Oh, I think I might have to make myself a cup of coffee. I fancy coffee. That very rarely happens, so... to get stream elements working again because that stream elements activity feed is broken wham, 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 
the ramp right now. Oh no, I've gone wide. Shite. Too much speed. I might do the Prius. Prius is a good idea. I think that's funny. If everyone starts out with a Toyota Prius, and then you can upgrade your cars, I'll make the Golf like worth 100 or something like that. So the golf will cost a hundred to to buy. And then everyone has a Prius. That'd be funny. I love it. I love the idea of that. Because nobody likes the Prius. So they'll want to change it as soon as possible. <laughs> Bright white 2 looks so bad. I know. <laughs> it's going to be so funny. We'll just make the Prius take up half the screen as well. So that everyone knows that they're in a Prius. And that they need to change it. <laughs> nah, and the way you feel. Done it again. I uh, I decided I wanted to do some rally driving. That's one hell of a drop there. Hybrid model that has like 20 miles on the electric motor, so what's the point of it being hybrid? There's none. <laughs> it's there as an emergency in case you break down, basically. Because you're going to break down in a Prius. Leave it all behind. This is one of my favorite Nero songs. Yo, can you pop out and get me some blinker fluid? I need some blinker fluid. <laughs> that was one of the funniest fucking things ever. Easy if you would change your mind. Just get up and go. Maybe I just wanna get it right. Let's just take this slow. Hey, look, 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 look at me. I'm a skyline now. What's that? You need a tire oil change. Yes, please. My tire oil needs replacing. Beep, beep. That didn't go well. Oh, there's contact! The 
Fiesta's absolutely screwed that one up. Ford Fiesta you're driving wouldn't even get a family up a fucking hill. Nope. Fiesta's slow as fuck. I do like, though, that Forza sort of focuses a lot more on the slower cars in this game than later ones, where slower cars just don't get the recognition at all, basically. You forgot windshield brake rotors. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Don't forget the brake rotors for your windshield. Just go with the flow, leave it all behind. Baby, let's drive into the night. Just get up and go. Leave our words behind. It's so easy if you can just say that tonight. Right, we've got another two laps to go. How about tightening seat lug nuts? Oh. Oh no. So, sir, I'm here for your MOT. You failed. Your car doesn't start. I don't even know what that was. Your car doesn't start. <laughs> Automatic fail. The exhaust manifold for the spoiler. The non-existent spoiler. I added an exhaust manifold onto the spoiler in my car to make it go faster. For some reason it's slower. I, c I can't wrap my head around it. the fucking dumbest thing I've ever said. No, it's not. I've said dumber. Flop, flop, pedals. Flip, flop, flippity, flop.
<laughs> Do you know what? There probably is some American that's asked, can I fit a turbocharger to my Tesla? It's probably on Google somewhere. Somebody searched it. Let's be real. What will happen if I supercharge my Tesla? But if you're sticking a Bugatti engine into a PLP 50, the cut. Nah. You're gonna lose your arms and legs. You're gonna turn that PLP 50 into a blender. A human blender. Yum. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.